That firestorm over President Trump's false accusations, saying former presidents didn't call the families of fallen soldiers. Backlash has been swift and fierce. Aides to President Clinton, George W. Bush, and Obama have all fired back. This as the president tries to present a united front with Republican leaders, saying he and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell have an outstanding relationship. This, of course, after weeks of attacking him. Our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, is in Washington with the latest on all this. Good morning, Cecilia. Robin, good morning to this was an impromptu press conference here at the White House, but it is that one statement from President Trump where he accused past presidents of not calling those families of fallen soldiers that this morning has him facing backlash from both those past administration and some of those families. At a surprise White House press conference. Thank you very much. President Trump broke his silence about why he had not yet commented on the deaths of four American special op soldiers killed two weeks ago during a siege in Niger. I've written them personal letters. Uh, they've been sent or they're going out tonight, but they were written during the weekend. And his promise to call the families of the fallen accompanied by a political attack. The president accusing his predecessors of not making those calls. The traditional way, if you look at uh, President Obama and other presidents, most of them uh, didn't make calls. A lot of them didn't make calls. I like to call when it's appropriate, when I think I'm able to do it. When asked to clarify that claim about President Obama, President Trump had know. few specifics. I, I, was, I was told that he didn't often, and a lot of presidents don't. This morning, aides to the last three former presidents say that's just not true. Former Attorney General under President Obama, Eric Holder, tweeting, Stop the damn lying. You're the president. I went to Dover Air Force Base with 44 and saw him comfort the families of both the fallen military and the DEA. Gold Star families lashing out too. One mother tweeting, I'm a Gold Star mom and a disabled vet. Trump does not speak for me and did not speak for my son. He is an embarrassment. Also in that press conference, well, President much, Trump President. side by side with Senate right. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, a display of unity that seemed designed not just to convince Washington they can actually work together. My relationship with this gentleman is outstanding has been outstanding, but also each other. We have the same agenda. Uh, we've been friends and acquaintances for a long time. We talk uh, frequently. President Trump offered this message. The Republican Party is very, very unified. The president even helped McConnell up the stairs before leaving the Rose Garden. But just hours earlier, inside the White House, President Trump made it clear he is not going to take the fall for his party. We're not getting the job done. And I'm not going to blame myself, I'll be honest. They are not getting the job done. So on this controversy over calling fallen soldiers, the White House is not backing down. Take a look at this statement that Press Secretary Sarah Sanders sent me overnight. She says, quote, the president wasn't criticizing predecessors, but stating a fact. Individuals claiming former presidents, such as their bosses, called each family of the fallen are mistaken. But Robin and George, I've got to say, no one connected to any past administration, at least none that we could find, is making that claim this well, morning. And that statement itself just isn't really it's true, true, Cecilia. I mean, the, the president was the one who brought it up himself. He's the one who talked about his predecessors. And, and George, this came, as I said, in this impromptu press conference. This was a question that was asked of President Trump. He was asked to weigh in on those fallen soldiers uh, who were killed there in Niger, why he hadn't weighed in at this point. So this came uh, sort of unsolicited, and uh, and he sort of seemed to struggle through this answer a little bit. But but you heard him there, and he's facing a lot of backlash this morning. And then, yeah, and that's why he backed away at the end as well. Okay, Cecilia, thanks very much.